This season at CAM, we're presenting four exhibitions in the main galleries. The first is the Great Rivers Biennial, which is a juried awards program for St. Louis artists. And this year's recipients are Saj Issa, Basil Kincaid, and Ronald Young. So much of my Palestinian ancestral history is embedded in my work through material or the types of imagery that I reference. I identify as an artist before anything else. I see my art as a form of storytelling through my personal experiences. I feel that in doing so that way, um, you know, what I reference and what I tell cannot be nullified. And this exhibition includes a variety of materials that have meaning embedded in them from either historical relevancy or the anti-war demonstrations that the poppy paintings were held in in unity. My relationship to quilting begins with my family. My grandmother was a quilter, her sisters, her mom, and after college, I started investigating my family practices and that led me back to the quilt and it revealed itself in this expansive and new way. Now, too, my work include a mixture of materials from St. Louis and then also Ghana. So part of my investigation there is looking at the relationship between West African and then Black American, particularly related to the South and Midwest textile traditions. Having grown up in a community where there were lots of artists and uh, musicians and coming from a family of such, it was just natural for me to pursue an artistic career and an education career as well. I'm really interested in creating work that asks questions as opposed to providing solutions to people. So this body of work is based on the fact that there are things in the community that I just see that need to be addressed. There are some really beautiful connections between the three GRB artists' exhibitions, thinking about color and scale, but especially the weight materials hold in terms of emotional resonance, the stories that materials can hold, and how connected they can be to a particular place. Overall, this exhibition entails the analysis of Palestinian landscape, politically, geographically, and historically. Upon my travel from Palestine back to St. Louis, I would pick you know, some wild flora from there, along with wild flora in St. Louis, and just dry them and include them together. I think that it was just like a really type of narrative that I want to include, kind of like different plants across the world without borders, being the same vessel, and share that space together. For this exhibition, I knew I wanted to show kind of each of my different styles that I had been working on in the last six years and I knew I wanted to like break my own rules and push myself to try new things. A lot of my work focuses on the relationship between our physical and spiritual life and this piece I wanted to fold in that digital component as well. I feel like this is a whole new direction in my abstraction and I'm really happy to show that work for the first time here at CAM and in St. Louis. The bricks are particular to St. Louis. There was a phenomenon that happened in St. Louis called the Brick Thieves. And basically what was happening is these people were going into the community and they were literally taking these homes apart. And then taking the homes apart, they were also devastating the community. So the bricks are a homage to that. My attempt is to bring that to people's attention, let them come to their own conclusions about how these materials make them feel. But basically that is the whole purpose behind this particular exhibition. CAM is open Wednesday through Sunday with late hours on Friday evenings. And to learn more about our exhibitions and programs, please visit camstl.org.